In this video, you're going to learn to add a freeze frame to temporarily pause the action in your video clip. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Final Cut Pro Shorts, a quick 1-2 minute video highlighting Final Cut Pro's tips and tricks, simple effects and other features. First, let's take a look at how to add a freeze frame to your timeline clip. Skim over your clip in the timeline, place a playhead over the frame you want to freeze. Now to add a freeze frame here, from the menu bar select edit and add freeze frame. Your timeline clip is bladed with a default 4 second freeze frame clip inserted at the playhead location. You can adjust the length of the freeze frame clip by ripple trimming it. You can also adjust the default length of the clip from the editing pane of Final Cut Pro's preferences. From the menu bar select Final Cut Pro, Preferences and then click the editing button at the top of the window. Here you can adjust the default still image duration. So if we set ours for 3 seconds, from now on, every time you add a freeze frame, the default duration will now be 3 seconds. You can also add a freeze frame clip to your timeline from one of your browser clips. If you create a freeze frame clip from the browser, it's attached to the primary storyline at the playhead location as a connected clip. Place a playhead in your timeline where you want the freeze frame clip to connect. Now in the browser, skim over your clip and with a skimmer over your desired frame, press Option F. A new freeze frame clip is attached as a connected clip at the playhead location in your timeline without altering the original clip. An alternative to adding a freeze frame to your video is adding a hold frame to your clip. We'll take a look at that in the next video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. And if you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments or by hitting the like button. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back next time.